Attention Dunwall citizens. Due to the rise in the population of plague rats, you are warned... Corvo? Can I tell you something? I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. I see. Well, I guess let me go grab that key and then check that place Yes, Mr. Out. Corvo. I'll make sure your quarters are clean, sir. Alright. Stashed upstairs in her bunk bed. Attention Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. Dalton's notes. This is Pendleton's place, but oh, how do you do, sir? Oh, I apologize for my state. I could use a long soak in the bath. So relaxing. What a treat that would be, hmm? Must be reported to the watch. So, Cecilia has a... a bunk bed up here? Or is it under my bunk bed? Lady Emily Caldwell was abducted some six months past, at the moment of her mother's terrible murder. Anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late Empress is required to speak to the City Watch at once. Alright, I have absolutely no idea where Cecilia's bunk bed is. So much dust. It must blow down from the upper city. Ah, oh, good grief. I can't find Emily and I can't find... Cecilia's upper bunk bed. Attention Dunwall citizen. Due to the rise in the population of plague rats, you are warned to stay out of uninhabited buildings. Aha. So these are her bunk beds, sorry. Right. Well, I still don't know where Emily is. on the white cliff. You know what, I think I'll just go upstairs and get my rest. Talk to Emily later.
Corvo, wake up. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Alright. You can stay here whenever you want, Emily. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Alright. Well, Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. Yeah, I suppose... I suppose it has. The young lady Emily was trying to sneak into your quarters while you slept, sir. I don't think she meant any harm. Yeah, I think it'll be alright. Attention, Dunwall citizens. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I'd rather you not spy. <laughs> I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Well, for goodness sake, I'm not going to kill you for looking in on someone. And you don't need to beg for forgiveness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And I'm not going to tell about your discretion either, so your little discretion is safe with me. I would like to, uh, I would like to find wherever that apartment of Cecilia's is. Attention Dunwall citizens, be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. Okay, so this is it. Well, it's about as quaint, quaint, quaint a place as you could possibly get. Okay, I can't go through there. Actually, I don't need another one of those. Dunwall Sewer. All right. Must be reported to the watch. All right. Well, it's good to know that that little hideaway is there anyway. forward please
I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. <laughs> Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the look. Whelping and training the hounds. Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so long. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Come on, Sokolov, don't be a sourpuss. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Oh. Gosh, let me go ahead and try this one. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. Alright, let me go talk to Piero. Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wine. Yeah, I don't want to go the rats route unless we really, 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 really have to. Especially if uh, Sokolov and I are supposed to be previous friends anyway, or, or at least acquaintances. Let's get into the light here and then we'll talk. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? It's only 150. I was thinking it was going to be maybe five times that much, if not more. Alright, let's do it. That really wasn't too much of a hefty bribe, fortunately. I'll leave it to you. But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I could use I'll a drink. Taste for King Street. Okay, Sokolov, here is a delicious King Street for you. King Street brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. 
I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect with Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I swear I never saw her face. Although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city. And perhaps the Empire itself. Mm. Alrighty then. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I see. And why in the world would he be looking for you, Pendleton? I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. Yeah, and it really didn't cost me that much to, uh, to get him a... Have you ever been in a sea battle? Brandy. Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. Everything was so fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old Madame Prudence said that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. All right. Hey, Sam. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Yep, about as ready as I'll ever be. When sprinting, enter stealth mode to slide. 